everybody, it's Lacey. Welcome to Paul's and Paper. So this is a little bit of a different view for everybody. Um, I wanted to do a uh, up close, behind the scenes, get to know me type video. So I've been on YouTube almost now for two years and I decided it's about time maybe to see the other side of the video. And uh, I have all my furry friends here with me. They're all curious to know what's going on because I am not at my desk. And uh, I decided to give you a, a better backdrop than my desk. So anyway, um, my name is Lacey. Um, I have the Paws and Paper channel and I got into paper crafting about two years ago and just think it's the greatest thing. I've had so much fun making things. I love vintage old things and so this just goes right along with everything that I love. So um, I have, I guess I'll start with my family. I have two sons, um, a 13 year old and a 10 year old. Um, married for it will be 16 years this year. Um, and I uh, am pretty busy with the boys. They play sports, they play soccer, so we do a lot of running around with them. Um, and I work full time. I do work um, outside the house. I don't get to stay home as much as I would love to be a full time stay at home. Uh, YouTuber would be great. It'd be fun just to do stay at home all day crafting, but no, I work um, full time as an accountant. Um, so I do work 40 hours a week and then I do my crafting um, in the free time. So I may not post as many videos as I would like to post. So if, uh, if you don't see videos go up as often, it's because I am busy running around with everything else. So, so yeah, but I do enjoy making the crafting videos. It's been a lot of fun meeting new people, um, joining the community with a lot of people who have the same interests as I do. So that's been cool. I've really enjoyed that. Um, I've got to connect to people in different countries which is also really neat. Um, so yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Um, my channel, Pauls and Paper, um, so named because I do have a lot of Pauls around here. I have, at the moment, four kitty cats and a dog. And you will see them every now and then um, running around in videos. They are very much have to be where I am doing what I'm doing. So yeah, they, uh, they tend to just make their self at home on my workspace. So, so yeah, you'll see them every now and then. So let's see what else about me. Um, I live in Ohio in the U S I have always lived in Ohio. Um, I currently live about an hour away from where I grew up. Um, very small town. We live, um, in rural, countryside so it's kind of nice I got lots of space I love to go outdoors so spend a lot of time taking the dog for for hikes and everything so so yeah I do spend a lot of time outdoors um, but Ohio weather you know is very unpredictable so I never know when I get a chance um, to go out whether it'll be 10 degrees or 60 degrees so so yeah I, uh, I do enjoy spending time outside I like to to garden a little bit in my flowers. I like to do some landscaping things and just, just take the dog for walks and stuff. So I, I like to be outside. Um, I also enjoy my animals. I've always loved animals. Um, when I was younger, I used to, uh, to ride horses and work at a, a horse stables. And yeah, here, see, we got tails in the way now. Thank you. This is Stitch. So, um, yeah, I used to do a lot with the horses, not so much anymore, um, just for, <laughs> just for, uh, I, I don't have a, you know, I don't live on a farm or anything, but yeah, I would love to still be with the horses, but, but yeah, so I do enjoy all my animals, um, but now I have boys, so that's, that's about as close to animals as I'm going to get, 
And I apologize for the table or the camera shaking. The cats are sitting on the table and the camera is moving every time they move. They're currently all laying down over there. But anyway, so if you see the camera moving, it's because the cats are moving. They're laying down currently, but like I said, it, it's usually a madhouse around here. You will hear the boys in the background. They will make themselves known if they are here um, by yelling out very loudly um, or they'll join my videos so so yeah I never really craft alone in peace it is usually very much uh, a busy place around here with either an animal or a person so so yeah my videos are very uh, very unpredictable in that aspect so so anyway um, let's see anything interesting about me what can I tell you all um, I, I, I think it's funny how I got into junk journaling, um, and it has like fed my need to go look for old things because now I have a reason to go look for old things. I love, love, love old books and I have way too many, but I just love them and I can't turn one down. So now I have an excuse to go to every flea market, every thrift store, and uh, bring home old things, papers, uh, you know, that before it'd be like, what are you going to use this for? And now it's like, oh, well, I can use this in a journal. So, so yes, it has fed my need for treasure hunting. I think that is one of the, the things I like most about the junk journal hobby is um, the treasure hunt. I do enjoy the treasure hunt. So... You will, uh, you will see, I, uh, well, I don't show a lot of things, but, but I do, uh, find every, I do find every occasion that I can get to go to a Goodwill or a thrift store of any kind. So, so yeah, um, let's see anything else interesting about me. I feel like I'm not very interesting. Um, I guess that's probably a good thing. I don't feel like I've had very many interesting life stories. I feel like it's been pretty, pretty normal. Um, yeah, just, I didn't do anything, didn't go anywhere exciting. Um, I've been on, you know, out of the country maybe once, uh, and that was for our honeymoon. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much of a homebody and I think I like it that way because I am very much an introverted person. I, I do enjoy, I think that's why I'm an accountant. I, I do enjoy just sitting alone, <laughs> being on a computer and not having a lot of human interaction, which is weird because when you have a YouTube channel, it interacts with a bunch of people, but it's a totally different experience when you are face to face with people or you're just face to face with your own camera. So I think that's why I may, you know, have done this I, I can be alone but yet still interact with people so it's kind of a neat thing because when you are um, an introverted person uh, people scare you and so so yeah you enjoy you enjoy quiet uh, time at home so so this feeds both of my needs to uh, interact and also you know have my my quiet time um, I do enjoy being down here in my craft room like I said it's not usually quiet but that's with my family so so yeah um and there's a tail again the stitch is always helpful aren't you yes you are You're always being helpful um let's see what else can I tell you um I don't really know um I uh have been trying to come up with some newer ideas. Um, a lot of what I do is, uh, I like the, the really grungy, vintage, vintage style junk journals, but, uh, I do try to mix it up. I get very bored with the same thing. So I don't know if you, when you watch my videos, if you see, um, I feel like maybe, maybe I have, maybe this is just me, but I feel like I haven't repeated a style all that much I don't know that I even have a style when I look at some other people's channels you know it seems 
they very much have a style. Certain people have a style and you look at that and you go, yes, I know who that is because that's how they do their journals. But, but yeah, I just don't feel like I have a style. So I just love to do different things. Um, and once I'm finished with a journal, I'm, I'm pretty much like I'm ready for something new. That's how bored I get. I get bored quickly with the same thing. So it is very much when I'm finished with a journal, it's, Usually I switch gears and go to something completely different. Um, I think that's why it's also fun. I'm sorry that it's shaking because kitty cat's over here. Um, but yeah, so I feel like it also is great with this hobby that it doesn't matter what you do. Anything can change and uh, no matter what you do, <laughs> no matter what you do, um, you can easily change your, you know, it's not just one style here. So, so yeah, I think that's a, it's a fun thing because then I can try tons of different things. Um, okay, finally, she got off the table. Um, so yeah, let's see. What else can I tell you? I don't, I'm, I feel like I'm just, you know, I'm rambling. I'm talking to myself. Um, what would I ask myself if I was interviewing? Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, this is, this is a kind of a, an interesting, it's interesting to me. Um, uh, this is the first hobby that I've ever had a sewing machine. Um, after how many years of my mom trying to get me to, to sew, uh, my mom is a good sewer. She has, um, lots of talent in that area. And she, when I was younger was always, you know, would you like to try, you know, I'll get you a sewing machine or you can try and. And I never got into any of that and uh, until until the junk journal thing came along and now I sew on paper. So, so yeah, that is kind of an interesting thing because I grew up with my mom who was very crafty. She, uh, she can make a lot of things. She, she sews things. She embroiders things. She got a new sewing machine that she does all kinds of crazy embroidery on. Very talented. Um, she used to sew uh, wedding dresses and things like that. So yeah, I watched her sew all this stuff and make things and just never got into a hobby like that until now. So now we share that in common. So now when we go shopping, it's like, oh, look at this fabric. Isn't this pretty? Or, you know, we could use this or for your craft. So now we have the crafting thing in common, which is fun. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Um, I keep saying, um, I feel like I've run out of things to talk about already, Stitch. And you are, you're just being so helpful. Can you just stay in one spot, maybe? He just can't sit still. Um, sit still. Stay right here. Sit back and forth, back and forth. And there goes the tail. Does anybody else have this problem? I tell you. That's why I said. You, I, I never sit here alone because somebody or something is always in my way. So, yes. Oh, uh, let's see. What else? Hmm. Just trying to think. Um, I would say my favorite thing to do crafting wise is to actually just like decorate pages. I really am not a fan of the binding, putting the binding in, binding pages in. That's not one of my favorite things to do. Um, and I do like to, uh, to just assemble pages. I, I, you know, there's like a process. You, you, you got to do the cover, you got to do the pages and then you decorate. I'm pretty much the, I like to the, do the decorating part. Um, I, I don't know, um, what else I can tell you other than it's been great you know, interacting with, um, everyone. Um, it's been fun. Um, I, I would have never thought I would have done a YouTube channel and, you know, maybe in 20 some years when I can retire, I can do it full time and just enjoy my hobby crafting full time. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I hope you all enjoy the videos. Um, and now you can, um, see what's on the other side of the camera. Um, this is usually what's there. It's, it's not very glamorous. Uh, I usually am crafting in my pajamas because I did get dressed today though. I, I, I did put on clothes. Um, 
But yeah, I'm usually crafting in my pajamas because it's later in the evenings after work or on the weekends. And uh, so yeah, I, I did I did dress up for you guys today. I got out of my pajamas. So so yeah, there, there there's a bonus. So yeah, so I uh, I always welcome your guys' comments and questions and you know things like that. So I hope you guys craft along with me and what do I always say get your paws dirty and get crafty so I will see you guys later take care bye